for some reason i've held off from posting this cakes for a while this video for a while and it's probably because one of the cakes i made i mm, i liked it actually but i realized while editing some of the mistakes i made and i don't know but this was the first weekend after a long time i had gotten orders so managing my time was really really important not that i hadn't been getting orders but orders were so infrequent and not that many for a weekend so this was the first time in a while i was fully booked for a whole week and i remember feeling so grateful and like finally things are looking up because you can actually say i'm busy i can't make it because i'm working my weekend is fully booked and all that jazz but yeah anyways we made it so amongst these orders i had five in this video and i think i had two more that had already left before i decided to film i can't really remember right now but according to my calendar they were like seven cakes that week and yes i know for some people that's not a fully booked weekend but in this economy that's quite the fully booked weekend and yeah so the first cake was obviously a chocolate fudge cake that you saw me working on with dark chocolate buttercream and then the next cake i was working on was a 1.5 kg vanilla cake with blueberry filling the first cake i post i in this video the fudge cake is a 2 kg fudge cake and then the third cake was a red velvet and a vanilla cake also two kilos and this white cake is a 2 kg vanilla cake and then my last cake for that weekend was a 2 kg lemon and strawberry cake so all these cakes were being picked between friday night and sunday morning so i knew i had an event a family function to attend during the week the weekend so i had to work really really smart so this was me working on all these cakes so that i could work as fast as possible to get them done before like the day is done so the last cake is a lemon and strawberry i don't know if i already mentioned that that was a gender reveal cake so it was pink inside with strawberry filling and yeah so uh worked on these first and second layers second coats of buttercream the day before and that's something i usually like to do when i'm doing all my cakes although sometimes i really do regret when i do this because when i come to do my final coat like it doesn't work that well because my like dark chocolate buttercream or chocolate buttercream basically sets so well just like ganache and unlike ganache that you can steam up like to get it's softer you can't do that to chocolate buttercream because with butter the butter would definitely melt off so you can't really melt it uh steam it the way we would steam ganache but anyway i regret it every single time i do it but honestly i would rather do this every single time to like save myself the stress and if you've watched a few videos back I, it was for the mother's day weekend i did mention that when i was working on my cakes i wrote down which order it was using a marker on the board and then as i did my next coat like my finger peeled off the writing i'd done so this time round i didn't want to risk that so i used like an actual piece of paper with stapler no with cello tape <laughs> why would i say stapler with cello tape to like stick it onto the board because that's much easier to like just be off because i know i'd remember which cake is which but once i go to sleep and wake up the next day i might not be that confident about which cake it is so on the next day i would i normally work with which cake is going first so depending on what time the cakes are being picked or which day the cake is being picked that's how i work so the cake that will be picked first is the first cake i usually opt to finish so the 1.5 kg vanilla cake was supposed to be the first cake leaving so i opted to start with that and for this cake because of the theme of the cake i wanted to to do parchment paper so that i didn't have 
this sage green buttercream all around but then i realized eventually that that wasn't working so i just decided to like peel it off and just uh use my eyes to put the design so it had fondant uh topper thingies like fondant cut pieces to make it like a football or soccer themed cake and the client had genuinely requested for very little buttercream on her cake so that's why you can see this greenish buttercream is so thin but that was from their request i didn't want to put too much and then not make her unhappy so i just put a little and that's how the whole cake turned out and it's a really cute design i'm sure you've seen me do this design with other cakes or on pinterest and stuff like that then um this is meant to be the last cake being picked but the fudge cake and the fudge cake was i had decided i'd do fondant on it so there's no way i would want to start on fondant before i finish my other cakes because i don't want to get so tired and the other white cake the reason why i wasn't working on it yet was because the client was saying they might not be able to pick up as initially agreed on and they wanted to push the party two weeks later so i was still waiting on them to decide what they're going to do because the cake was technically halfway ready and then this stenciled cake unfortunately no one i know or any of the shops had a stencil long enough for me to just use once for this design so i unfortunately had to use the same stencil twice and try to like uh, mark where like the pattern would match together and when you're looking at the video you can definitely see like the seam of where the two stents where the stencil meets but i think in the moment i didn't really see it but then when i was editing this video i really could see it and i feel i remember telling myself Ugh, i don't like that i can see that and then this is a cake that made me not want to post um this design so from the thing that i was struggling with was i couldn't tell from the photo the client had sent if this pattern was going all around the cake or it was just in one section so i didn't know how <laughs> to proceed and it was already way too late to ask because they were picking up the next morning and at the same time i had in my head i had already told myself the cake the pattern was like all around the cake so i had asked the shops to print for me like enough to go around the cake and then just did this this is a mistake i made like made the pattern like stuck each sheet of paper edible paper onto the fondant and then stuck that fondant onto the cake and the reason i did that is because i've done that before for another cake but then while i was editing this like i had the genius idea while i'm editing instead of while i was working i should have just paneled the cake like i usually do and then just stuck the pieces the edible print onto the cake itself afterwards like instead of me doing like um sheets like short the strips of fondant with the print i should have just stuck the fondant and then stuck the print i don't know if it would have worked the same like um the paper would have stuck that seamlessly i'm not really sure but i know for a fact it should have been i would have felt like the cake was much tidier so if you decide to do that design maybe just maybe do that instead of what i did but it's lessons we live and learn and the client actually really liked the cake in the end so i was happy with it and then this is the cake i was saying the client wasn't sure so that's why you're seeing me working on it later at night with my promotional tea because she decided that she would still pick it at the same time she had agreed upon and the agreed upon time was 7 a.m so i had to finish up at that time and then since i knew i was going for a family function and didn't know when i would come back on this day like what time i would come back i didn't want to leave this cake unfinished just in case the family function ran late or i got so tired and couldn't work the next day so i decided to do the textured buttercream technique 
on this cake and finish up the cake in time so that Kesho the next day is just handing it over to the client. So all I had to do for this last cake is just add the toppers. So that was all I did during that week. Um, and I hope you've learned something <laughs> from my mistake on that cake. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.